Today we are going to be unboxing this month's Loot Crate. This is the Loot Crate and some of the level ups for May 2016 and the theme is power. I'm very excited for this one. Unlike last month where it was just sort of tailor made for me with all of its sort of fantasy focused items, this is a little bit more not my type of stuff, but I think I'm more excited for that because I don't know, I always like f discovering new fandoms and maybe things that I'd never heard of before and getting able to see a lot of new things that maybe I wouldn't have picked up otherwise. So let's go ahead and dig right into it. Here is our box. This is huge this month, by the way. This is a really big box. I think this is the biggest one that I've received so far. Ooh, it's got like lightning all over. It says power, awesome. Okay, first things first, we have a, ah, oh, Dragon Ball. Oh, that's cute. It's like a little squishy, little squishy Dragon Ball. It's like a keychain. That's cute. I watched Dragon Ball Z when I was younger. Um, I have not kept up with it at all, so I have a feeling this is sort of wasted on me, but I still think it's really cute and cool, and it will definitely find a place somewhere in the background as all of my Loot Crate stuff tends to end up. All right, next we have another thing wrapped in noisy plastic. Oh my gosh, this is hilarious. Let me get it out of the plastic first. Okay, so this is an oven mitt that is the Infinity Gauntlet. That is so funny. And honestly, I don't even own an oven mitt right now because my husband and I just moved recently and we just don't have a lot of kitchen stuff. So this is great. I can totally use this. As per usual, there is usually a t-shirt or some form of wearable in the crates. And this is, ah, it is a World of Warcraft tee, which I really, really like the design of. I like the coloring. Um, and. Man, their t-shirts are always so soft. I feel like they use really good material for their shirts. But that's cool. I like with like the silhouette um, of the of the two characters. A little bit of Horde and Alliance action going on. I really like it. Next we have another figure, and they tend to have some sort of figure in every box. We've got a Hulk one. This is super cool. Last time I got a figure like this was my Deadpool, who is chilling right there. Can you see him? He's so little but the Hulk will definitely be going up behind me. I'm sure of it. Not sure exactly where yet, where he would fit in properly, but I don't know how well you can see that it's sort of shiny. Let me get him out of the box first. That is a really good looking figure. Um, as you can see, he's doing the sort of superhero, just landed on the ground sort of thing. Really great quality. I mean, this isn't in multiple pieces or anything like that. This is all one, one figure. That's really cool. I love the figures that I get in my loot crates. They've all made their way back there somewhere. So I'm always, I'm always about adding stuff to the background. As always, we have our Loot Crate magazine and our pin. This month's pin is styled after something called Battleborn, which I have never personally heard of, although from this handy dandy magazine, I was able to deduce that it is a like PS4, I think it's a, like Xbox, wait, wait, wait. Let me make sure that I know what I'm talking about. PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And with this pin, you can redeem some DLC for Battle Battleborn, which is pretty exciting. So that's kind of cool. And I don't know if you guys have noticed, but since last month, I have put all of my loot pins back behind me on a box that I have. So I'll go ahead and add this guy to the mix. All right, there it is, my little Battleborn power pin there in the background for all to see. I don't know about any of you that get Loot Crate, but I really, really love the Loot Crate magazine that comes with every box. Um, it has a lot of really cool stuff in it. Um, this has got some interviews. Um, there's like usually games. I think I saw a Mad Lib in here. Yeah, the words of power kind of Mad Lib. All different sorts of thing. It'll describe to you the items that you get in your box, but it also has more content available within it. And if you guys haven't noticed as well, a lot of the Loot Crate boxes have been making their way into my background. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy turned inside out and see what it looks like. All right, so here is our box all turned inside out. Still has that power thing that I showed to you guys at the beginning. Um, on one side, we've got just sort of the power slogan, I guess. <laughs> Enjoy more, more of power. Enjoy more of power. Why does that sentence feel like it doesn't make sense? Um, and then on the other side, we've got kind of an exploding city. It looks like we're looking through like a 
blown hole in the wall. So this will definitely be the side that ends up facing toward you guys. Right, moving on from the main loot crate box, we're going to dive into some of my level ups. Now currently I only get three of the four level ups, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off. I have no idea which one is in here, but we will go ahead and find out together. So I've already sort of pre-opened it just so I didn't have to open it on camera. Just like the Loot Crate magazine, you get sort of a like poster usually um, with the level up um, that kind of describes everything that's in all the different types of level ups that you can get. And I think this one must be my socks and wearable level up. First things first, we have some awesome Super Mario socks. That's great. I love the color. It says uh, Super Mario on the bottom there. At least I think it says... Oh no, it just says Super Star on the bottom. And then we've got our kind of classic Mario Star. And then... Is this He-Man? Oh yeah, some He-Man socks. That's so funny. So we got Masters of the Universe, He-Man. It's folded all funny, but you could kind of see his face. There he is, He-Man. <laughs> all right, I'm going into my, my t-shirt or potentially t-shirt. Long, long sleeve shirt. Ooh, it's Lord of the Rings. <gasps> I didn't even expect anything to be like this exciting for me this time because last month was so exciting. Yay! Oh my gosh! Okay, on the front, it's just pretty like nondescript. It just has like the little, whoop, that's the wrong side, mirror. Um, it's a little like the little circle of the wording that you would find on the ring itself. I'm sorry, I don't want to geek out on you guys. But on the back, it has a much bigger version and it says precious in the middle. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. I mean, I don't think I like it as much as the Princess Bride shirt that I got last month, but this is still really cool. And like I said at the beginning, I wasn't expecting to like love anything in here, but I already, or like be this excited, I guess, for anything in here, but this is, this is super cool. All right, just one more to go. I have my Loot For Her package, which is slightly smaller. And the only reason I know that this is Loot For Her is because process of elimination, that's all that I have left. More things wrapped in plastic. I really like both of these items, but um, this is a Super Mario scarf, I think. I haven't unfolded it yet. Yeah, ooh, that's a huge infinity scarf. Can you guys see me through there? I can see you. Boo. <laughs> so this is a huge infinity scarf. Let me go ahead and model it for you if some of you maybe don't know what an infinity scarf is. Bam, look at that. I'm getting my high fashion geek on. Mmm. I really like the pattern. Um, I'm not like a huge Super Mario fan, but I've definitely played Mario. I mean, pretty much everybody has. Um, and love me some gaming, just not my favorite. I'm more of a Zelda person myself as far as Nintendo goes, but that's a super cool pattern. It's got more of the old school pixely Mario. Um, all different sorts of characters on here. I'm not gonna name every single one of them off, but you can see, super cool. And it's a really cool fabric, um, sort of sheer. Um, I was mentioning that I could see you guys through it. Uh, but yeah, I love infinity scarves, wear them all the time, although I don't know how much use I'll get out of it now that I'm down in California as opposed to up in Washington, but there you go, very cute. All right, I'll keep the scarf on for the next item, which is a choker, I think, or is that a bracelet? No, that can't be a choker, that's way too short. So this is a bracelet, it's a charm bracelet that has all the Avengers symbols on it. That's really cool. I like that a lot. So we've got Hulk, Captain America, Thor, Black Widow, and Iron Man all chilling on there, jingling along. I like the fact that it's red. I've always really liked the color red, so. Yeah, kind of fun this month. Not my favorite, like I said, but I was expecting going into this just from the teasers and stuff that I wasn't gonna love this one because they were uh, advertising a lot of stuff that I'm just not very familiar with. Um, as I already mentioned, it's sort of like, you know, Super Mario stuff. I got two things from that, which I'm not super familiar with. I've never played World of Warcraft. I haven't watched Dragon Ball Z since I was a kid. So there's a couple things in there that I just wasn't super familiar with, but love that Lord of the Rings um, shirt. Love this scarf. Um, this is really cool too. I love the Hulk, the Hulk figure. I don't know which my favorite thing is gonna be. As much as I was saying I'm not a huge Super Mario fan, I think it's this just because I know that I will wear this scarf um, and it's like a good fabric and stuff. I love that Lord of the Rings and that was definitely the thing I was most excited for. But I think because it's so like simple and like it's a long sleeve black shirt, which again, I mentioned I'm living in California right now. Like I'm not gonna be able to wear this until like November. <laughs> so I have a feeling this will be like a pajama shirt type of thing and won't really see the light of day that often. As cool as it is, I think I like this the best from 
the like the actual loot crate not just for my level up i'm gonna say the hulk figure is definitely my favorite item let me know what you guys thought of this month's power loot crate let me know what you guys are looking forward to in next month's loot crate whenever they decide to announce the theme down in the comments below let me know if you guys have loot crate and i will see you guys next month for another unboxing bye